Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is a brand new series on used EVs. I shall be comparing different models including driving tests, cabin reviews and their technology and deciding whether they are worth considering in 2023. And in the first video we're going to be kicking off with the Renault Zoe ZE50 Iconic R135. But first, a little bit of background of this Super Mini. In 2010 at the Paris Motor Show, Renault showed off the Zoe Preview, a zero emission vehicle from Renault with a realistic glimpse of forthcoming mass market electric cars. The Zoe back then was a mere 90% or so of the one we have today. The one we have today has gone through many iterations with larger batteries, more tech and rightfully holding its place in the super mini category. However, the last few years have seen the introduction of many new electric vehicles. And that of course includes better technology, better efficiency and better pricing. Some of those vehicles are the Peugeot E208, the Fiat 500e, the MG4, the Mini Electric and newcomers like the Aura Funky Cat. But with all these new EVs, where does that leave the Renault Zoe? Don't judge a book by its cover because the Renault Zoe, believe it or not, has still some great features on the vehicle. This particular model in this video, which is the ZE50 Iconic R135, is a really good spec. Comes standard with satellite navigation, with navigate to public chargers, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, wireless charger, and you can also use the Renault app to check your state of charge and also precondition the cabin. The Renault Zoe also comes with some great customization inside the cabin, including the driver's binnacle and keyless entry, which you can do by just having the key on your person. On the road, the car comes with cruise control and also lane keep assist. And one thing I was very surprised by is just how quiet the cabin is. Even at high speed on the motorways, this car cruises really well with very little motorway noise. And one of the car's biggest assets is its 54 kilowatt hour battery, giving you around 190 miles of real world range. So there's a great set of standard features on this car, many which I think most motorists would be very happy with. So with so many pros, there must be some cons. And there is a couple with the Renault Zoe. Let's have a look at them now. Well, the first one is probably the charging. Now there's some pros and cons to this. There is a 22 kilowatt AC onboard charger, which is great if you can plug into a 22 kilowatt charger and you can go from naught to 100% in the space of a few hours. However, if you're looking to do a DC fast charge, which you can do on this vehicle, you're looking at a maximum of 45 kilowatts, which isn't very fast. And you're talking about a long time at the charger if you're on a road trip. And staying on the subject of the battery, the Renault Zoe comes with a very healthy range, which is great obviously for road tripping or daily use. Unfortunately, that does come at a cost with the battery health. Now the battery in the Renault Zoe, although it's a fairly large one for its size, it is air cooled, which means it's not protected by a liquid cooled system like most modern day EVs. There's also no gauge to charge it to a maximum of 80% to try and help protect the battery. The penalty for that is you are gonna see some earlier signs of degradation. But like I said, it's a big battery on this car. And if you're using it for city driving and the odd trip, it's not gonna to be too much of an issue. And lastly, just to quickly touch on, is the safety features on this vehicle. Like many new EVs, there's a host of great safety features in their safety suites. Unfortunately with the Zoe, it's very, very limited. And the Euro NCAP safety test actually awarded it zero out of five stars. Now that doesn't mean it's not a safe vehicle, but it could be safer. Now, as we're looking at used vehicles, let's compare new versus used prices and let's see what kind of discount we're looking at for around up to two years of ownership. Now, bear in mind, these sources are from CarWow, which I find to be the most competitive prices for new and used. And let's see what we can get with our money and especially the Renault Zoe. So in this list in front of you, we have the top 10 most affordable EVs with the MG4 SE standard range at the top coming in at £26,195. And shortly behind that, the Renault Zoe ZE135 Iconic 
at £27,936. Now we're focused on the used prices and surely you'll be presented with the used prices for the same vehicles with a maximum of two years of age and up to 10,000 miles. And just bear in mind, six months ago, you could nearly pay the same price for a used car as the new price. So let's have a look at how much this has changed. And as you can see, the Renault Zoe is nearly 40% cheaper, which makes it an outstanding consideration. Now we can't ignore who's at the top of the list, which in this case is the Vauxhall Corsa E, but we have a 40% saving on brand new price. One of the interesting cars in this list is the Mini Electric, which as you can see here, which has got the smallest range, is holding its price really well in the used market. But I think we can all agree with these lower prices available now for used EVs. It's a great opportunity to get into an electric vehicle. And with that in mind, you might suggest that the Renault Zoe is more than an EV. It's also the key to the door for a lot of people who wanna get into EV ownership. But what do you think about the Renault Zoe? Would you consider it? Could it be a good second car? Or is it just a city car with a big range? Either way, it's got to be worth considering. I've been personally living with one for nearly two weeks and I've done daily driving with it to work and back, doing the daily errands as well. And I also did a road trip to London and back, including charging. And this car handled the motorways perfectly fine at 70. Like I said, it's got a very quiet cabin and it really was a joy to drive. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments and stay tuned for the rest of this used series where I shall be living with, testing, and giving you comparisons of many more used electric vehicles. If you did enjoy the video, a like and a sub would be wonderful, and I shall see you in the next one.